Tom, a very difficult one for the lads when you play Saturday, Monday. But what are your thoughts ahead of this busy weekend? Well, we're all in the same boat. That's for one. Uh, fortunately, we've got to go on the road again, which is, seems, you know, uh, that's two seasons in a row. We've, we've started the same way, but it is what it is. Um, and we knew about it way before now. So ultimately, what's on our mind is the game against Oldham. We have to pick up the pieces after that, whatever which way that goes. Um, in terms of the body count, we'll, we've been on Sunday morning before um, deciding which group we take up to, to Tamworth. So we say it all the time when we're stood in this position that we have to take each game as it comes. And in these situations particularly, you have to do that. And it's when the squads become really, really valuable to you. Only one training session from Tuesday night. It's just finishing now, isn't it? But how have the lads been out there today? Yeah, being bright and breezy. I think they were disappointed on mass for the fact that the way the game went on Tuesday night. Obviously, nobody wants to lose a game, but it is in the rules that you can lose. Um, for 75 minutes of the game, I think, if you you know if you look back at it, which we have and dissected the bits and bobs, we should have been more than the one goal up, and that would have probably seen us through. But if buts and maybes don't win football matches, and you've got to give the opposition credit. They didn't, you know, um, they didn't change. They didn't do anything dramatically different. They just were a little bit more intense, and and they threw themselves at the at our goal really. Um, and we weren't able to keep it keep it out. So, you know, you've got to give them a pat on the back. They had, in effect, you know, no points, no goals before that. But then there's there's a reason for them to keep going like they did. And you don't get promoted on a on a with a group of people that you know don't show a sort of willingness to keep going to the end. And, you got to give them credit, but we want to we want to bounce back as quickly as we can. Um, and we're at home, and we've, we've enjoyed playing at home since I've come to the club. Uh, I can't see why that can't be any different going forward. Late winners are always a knock, can't they? But and, and it'll be a bit of a test to a, to a new group out there on how they react to that. But how's how's that been so far? They react. Yeah, well, I, I think you've just hit the nail on the head there. Late winners can have adverse effects on you, but they can also have adverse actualities go through your mind. You know, um, I know I'm very comfortable in my head as to how the vast majority of that game went. And on another occasion, but for a couple of unbelievable saves from their goalkeeper, a couple of really poor misses from us, and there were misses, uh, and then a couple of really good chances that one of them hit our own man as it was flying in the goal. So, you know, I genuinely think, I've said this before and I'll say it again, I'll back my teams to score in most games. And if we score goals and we can keep them out at the other end, we win more games. It's as simple as that. We managed it on Saturday. Um, did we play any better? Possibly, but the result will make you feel like you played better. So let's just remember we're only three games in. Um, the exuberance and the enthusiasm I see on the training ground fills me with, you know, confidence going forward as the leader of the group. So I'm, I'm ready for the ready for the next game. And Oldham are the visitors this Saturday. Always tricky customers. We got a good result against them at the tail end of last season, didn't we, at the EBB Stadium? But I guess that counts for nothing when a new season comes along, doesn't it? Yeah, because, well, if you say that, they, they took us apart in, in the second game of the season yeah. Yeah, it, up at their place last year. But, uh, well, if they've got the stamina of the owner, then we'll be in for a long game. I know that. So you give him a mention that, that what he did over the summer, you yeah. know, rowing his boat across the... The pond is not for the first time. Actually, it's, it's an unbelievable achievement. It brings great publicity to the to the league. So, it'll be interesting then if we if we meet him. But um, yeah, we understand all the, all the Athletic historically have been at the very high, highest echelons of the game, um, and really good history and, and players have had some unbelievable players play for them. But they are where they are. They're in our league, and they'll be coming looking to take three points home, and we'll be looking to keep them here in North Hampshire. So, let's bring it on. I know I always ask you about rotation and things when we have games like this, but when it is Saturday, Monday, does that have to come into your mind and, and maybe some of the players that won't be able to do 90 minutes for both games? Well, rotation is something that happens with my wheels on my car. So <laughs> I don't know, when I played football, it was like the next game, if you were fitting well and you were putting yourself up to be picked. Ultimately, there will be changes, I guess, between the Saturday and the Monday. But right now, every one of our players who've trained this morning and will train again in the morning, We'll be hoping and really, really hoping to be picked on Saturday. Monday is a million miles away from, from my thoughts at this moment in time.